Before we start today, guys, I do want to mention we're having a 30% off sale from today until after Christmas. So if you're looking for any editing tools, presets, plugins, assets, check out my website link down below. Animating a 3D character can be hard. You either spend countless hours rigging and animating by hand, or you spend thousands of dollars on motion capture suits. Well, this video is gonna give you a free alternative that'll allow you to breathe life into your 3D characters in minutes. This guide will show you from start to finish how to extract motion capture data from real footage and successfully retarget it onto your 3D characters. So let's hop in and talk about how to do it. All right, guys, so let's get started. We're gonna be using Rococo's new motion capture free AI video to motion capture that they just released. Super cool. Link is gonna be down below. Everything we're doing in this video is free. You can click to create a new scene. So let's name this tutorial. And then you can either record using your device's camera or you can select a local video file. We can either pull some royalty free clips or maybe you guys are working on a music video. You want to pull some clips in from there or you guys can use your web camera or set up your own live camera into here. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to pexels.com. I also downloaded this clip here from Lord Heck. Uh, just so I can try out some more complex movements and just see how well the AI really can capture that. I'm not expecting everything to be perfect, but from my testing so far, we've gotten some pretty great results. So let's drag this in here. You guys can trim the part you want. So as you see, this is a pretty complex movement, a lot going on, things moving pretty fast. Let's see how well these results turn out. Let's just click turn into animation. All right, so once this is processed, you'll see animation clip has been created and you can view that by going into Rococo Studio. So click the second link down below and you guys will be able to download Rococo Studio for free and you can see your download links right here. So go ahead and fire that up. And then if it prompts you to go ahead and sign in with that account you made and let's go over to our projects. So here's the tutorial project we created. Let's double click in there. And now over on the left, you'll see these are the animation clips that we uploaded. So we can just double click on this new recording one to actually see it. And let's see how well this turned out. A little stiff. You guys can come over to this filters button. And sometimes if there's a lot of jumpy movements, you may want to turn off this locomotion. Your character may sink into the ground a little bit, but the animation will look a lot more fluid. So this actually looks pretty good for how complex, again, the movement was. I'm sure if you guys are just doing simple movements, it'll look a lot better, but I think this looks really good. And I think it's just a testament to how powerful these AI tools are becoming and how we can really use these to speed up our workflows. So let's go ahead and export this. We're gonna bring this into Blender and we'll show you how to retarget this motion onto any 3D character. So in our export settings here, just click over to this export tab if you need to. I'm gonna export it as an FBX. And for your skeleton preset here, it really depends on what you're trying to retarget to. So if you're planning on bringing this into Unreal Engine, obviously choose the Unreal Engine tab. I'm gonna go and select the Mixamo skeleton preset and I'll show you in a bit why. So make sure this is binary and we can keep everything else the same. So this is where it's going to export. You can click here, click and just copy this path if you need to. And let's click export clips. All right, so we can close this down. And now we need our 3D character. So there's a ton of different ways you guys can get 3D characters. I've made a bunch of videos on it in the past. If you wanna follow along and choose the process that works the best for you, I really love using Daz Studio. I've talked a bunch about that, about bridging it from Daz into Blender, so on and so forth. Again, Daz is a free software. They also have a marketplace where you guys can download free or paid assets. So things like clothing, hair, etc., makes it pretty easy. And again, you can bridge this into every creative software you guys can imagine. So let's just fire up Daz and get ourselves an easy 3D character. But either way, in smart content, we can just go to figures, Genesis 8 starter mail, figures, and load in our basic Genesis 8 mail. So let's go to wardrobe here and we'll just give them some clothing and this will be fine for our testing. So let's go and send this into Blender. You guys can either go up to file, export, export the FBX, or if you want everything to be a lot more smooth, export the maps together. You guys can download the DAS to Blender Bridge or DAS to whatever software you're using Bridge. You guys don't have to use Blender or DAS. Again, I'm just showing you my method. This works with all methods. Since I've already installed the DAS to Blender Bridge, I go up to File, Send to DAS to Blender, and then we can click Accept and this will package everything up for me. So if you guys follow the guide to install that DAS to Blender Bridge, we can just click up here 
go up to Daz to Blender and import our Genesis figure. Now we have our Daz character in Blender. So you have your 3D character in your 3D software of choice. This is going to come with the Daz rig that's already enabled. Now I found that you get a lot better results with a different type of rig. So I'll show you my method. I think it works a lot better if you do it this way. So what I like to do is get rid of all this fluff that imports from Daz into Blender. So I'm gonna create a new collection and I'll name this collection tutorial and I'll put in this collection everything that I actually need. So what we need is here's your rig and inside this rig is the actual mesh parts of our character. This is all we really need. So I'll hold down shift and I'll drag that into this collection. Everything else can be deleted. Same with this. This has all this weird environment stuff. Just delete all these parts. So again, we're left with just a character. No rig, no skeleton on this guy. We're gonna go ahead and add that in. Instead of rigging it from scratch, if you guys want, you can using Rigify and Blender or whatever. I'm just gonna use Mixamo. And to do that, I can just select the parts of my character, go up to File, Export, FBX, and I can name this Tut Character to Mixamo. And we'll go ahead and export that. Then we'll hop over to Mixamo, and this is what I've used previously to add in motion capture data because they have this library of motion, but we're not gonna touch any of this. We're just gonna use their free rigging tool. So click upload character and then select that character that we exported from Blender. So touch character to Mixmo. All right, and then we click next and you can select here the parts it wants you to select. Very easy. And then it's gonna go through and set up a skeletal rig for us. All right, very easy. Again, this is my method. You guys can use any rig. The retargeting should work the same. So if you guys want to, you could also put them in a T-pose if that's useful for you for animating down the road. Just search T-pose here and then we'll click download. So we'll save this and then we'll bring this back into Blender. So file import FBX and here we go. Now, first off, you're gonna say, what happened to all my textures? Well, the good thing is we have all our textures on this version. So all you would really need to do is open up this armature. Here's the exact same parts. Go to your material properties and you can see exactly what it is you're trying to do. So say for example, you wanna copy the shirt, just click here, material properties, and you just select the t-shirt. So it's easy just to copy them back and forth. Everything's still named the same. So don't worry about that. Now we can hide this for now. Again, this will be our textures if we wanted to copy them over. This is what we want. So now let's bring in our motion capture that we got from that AI Rococo software. So we'll go up to file, import, FBX. And then I saved the path earlier, so I can just click in here and click control V. And then we'll select the one we want. And this is very important, make sure you scroll down here on the right, open up armature, and make sure you click on automatic bone orientation. If you guys don't do this, it's gonna import it's gonna import it in all weird. So import it in like that. And here's our skeleton. So we can scroll forward. And here's where we want it to start, around 139. If you want to, you can set your duration like this. So how to copy this onto this character. Now to do that, I'm going to use this, this Rococo Studio Live Blender plugin, again, free and it has this retargeting tool right here, which is super useful. So I'll leave the link down below to get this into Blender. You just need to download the zip from GitHub and then go up to edit preferences, add-ons, install and select that zip file that you installed from the link below. So once you've done that, you guys wanna take your source and click on this armature here. And you wanna take your target and click on this armature here. And then we can click build bone list. It's going to try its best to align everything correctly. If some things mess up, like for example, if we click retarget animation, you're getting an error it's saying duplicate targets. You see it says spine one, spine two, and it puts spine two again. Just remove that. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing you have to remove. If anything else isn't targeting correctly, just go through here and manually assign the bones. Now, if I was to just click retarget, you see the legs are targeted correctly, but for some reason there's an issue with the arms. So let me show you how to fix that. Let's click Control Z 
and get to the point where we haven't retargeted. What you want to do is go to the first frame where your animation starts. You want to click over into pose mode. And then with this selected, if it's not selected, just click A to select all. You go to this pose tab, you go to clear transformation all. So it's just going to be in a nice, simple T pose. Now this looks the exact same, but this T pose for our first armature isn't actually in rest position. So if we go to object mode, select here on this character armature, we go down to our object data properties. You'll see this is our pose position, but our rest position is still the default A pose from Daz. So if your character is by default in a T pose, it should work fine. But if you're working with Daz characters like myself, then you may have it look like this. Again, the T pose is from Mixamo, but this is still our rest position. So to fix that arm issue, what you guys want to do, one on my numpad, just to go to that front forward view, I'll grab this Rococo armature and I'll click G and just line this up. Let's click and go back into pose mode. And then let's take these arms and just click R and rotate them so that they're the same angle as our A pose like this. You can even do it with the legs if you want. So doing this should fix our issue here. Now make sure you guys do this. You guys want to go over to use pose instead of rest. You want to go current. Now we can click retarget animation. And just like that, everything working a lot better. Now, I do want to take a pause and say that I learned that tip, that life saving tip from CG Dive Channel. He has a full guide talking all about using this plugin for retargeting with different types of rigs. So, if you guys are working with a rig that's different from mine, maybe you don't want to use Daz characters and you have a different type of rig and a different type of pose, he has a guide covering every single type of rig that you can imagine and tips and tricks for retargeting. So if you're still running into any issue, I'll link that video down below. Highly recommend you guys subscribe, like, because it's a great video. We have some cleanup left to do. So for example, right here, you can see our arm is going through our chest. You guys can go back into pose mode. And first of all, let's actually see this armature in front. So we'll select the armature. We'll go over to our object data properties, viewport display, and check on in front. A lot better. Now, let's select the part that's going through, so maybe like our forearm, and you can't select individually because we're in object mode. We need to go to pose mode. Now we can select here. And then let's change this timeline view to our graph editor. And with the selected, you see this is the exact bone we have. We can open that up. These are the different rotation values that we can change for that bone. And if you guys scroll and adjust this, you can actually see Click A here if you don't have this selected and select. So let's click this W rotation and we can click G. And then if you just move it up and down, you can see we can adjust the rotation a slight bit. So and you can do that with any bone. So we'll select here and you can try with different angles as well. So give it a little bit of space, select different values to control different parts. And there you go. Pretty simple. So we made our adjustments so that nothing is bending and going through and making things look weird. It's pretty amazing what AI is allowing us to do. And a huge shout out to Rococo. This isn't a sponsored video. They didn't ask me to make this. I just love making tutorials that I see value in and that I think can help people. That plus this retargeting part of the tutorial. I've used this plugin before, but I can never figure out that arm issue. I thought that that information was gold. There's not enough information out there about retargeting with Blender. So I hope that helps you guys out. Another bonus, I'm gonna leave below a giant library of free motion capture data, which was recorded uh, by some college studies and they put it out to the public for free use. So if you're looking for things like walk cycles or just simple or just simple movements, you guys can download that giant zip folder and you'll have a bunch of different motions which you can use this retargeting tool to apply to your character. You don't want to go through and use the AI motion could be a pretty useful download. And that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like to help with the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below anything you'd like to see from me. I hope you guys have a happy holidays and new year. I'm excited for all the things we're going to talk about in this coming year. It's going to be fun. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.